Good morning guys and welcome to day six of my trip through Scandinavia. I'm currently uh, in Hellesult, close to Geirangerfjorden in Norway. Uh, and the plan for today is to head a little bit further south, do a little bit of a round up again and then cross uh, and pass Geirangerfjorden uh, and the, the roads on the east side of Geirangerfjorden. I think Today is going to be one of the first days where we can do a little bit, a little stretch of gravel on this bike. I haven't done any gravel on this bike so far. Um, and we're going to do, because we're going to do a Stryn, Gamle Strynefjellsvegen. But I think part of it, I think it used to be all gravel and now part, part of it is already, they put tarmac on it. So, uh, unfortunate for us gravel riders and fortunate for camper vans and Everyone else who prefers um, a more solid surface to ride on. So yeah, I'm getting all packed up and ready to go today. There's a little bit something something going up, going on in the mountains here. Uh, some gray skies. Honestly, I don't mind it too much. It's uh, the last few days has been absolutely amazing with the weather. But when you're in uh, motorcycle gear all day, it can almost be a little bit uh, too much, especially when I'm not particularly used to riding in the heat. So a little bit clouds, uh, don't mind it at all, actually. So well, let's get this day started. That is so cool. habit of always like checking my mirror if I'm recording or not. <laughs> anyway, I'm now uh, at the start of the valley that we are going into and in not very long, about nine kilometers, and the little mountain pass road should be started. There we go. That's Tourist roads on a Sunday for y'all. Just driving in line and I'm stuck behind a whole Mercedes that absolutely reeks. Ugh. brakes are often good for more than one thing. It's also good for shaking off of cars. Now we have the road for ourselves for a little while at least. <laughs> This is 
our turn for Bumble of the Unicaps again. Oh, we can't go through? Oh, looks like the road is closed up here somewhere. We're gonna find out where, because we're still going up here. snow here. I'm gonna take a wild guess and say that that's why we can't ride any longer. <laughs> well, now that we've seen that, I guess we turn around and enjoy the view on our way back down again. <laughs> then I get like these really destructive thoughts about, you know, oh my god, what if I crash here or fall down there or stuff like that. And right now what's going through my mind is, oh my god, what if there's an avalanche? And I... <laughs> buried in snow with my bike. I know it's not gonna happen, but you know, what if? What if? So luckily I don't have to backtrack the whole way, it was just down to the uh, road section where I turned right on to the beginning of Slimicat Study and now I'm continuing um, on the main road, which just taking me where I was going after anyway.
tourists. I totally understand uh, what, what they are stopping to see though, because it's, uh, you can see uh, the Gilangar Fjord very well. From here, I guess we won't, or should we stop here? Actually, I think this is a viewpoint that we can stop at. Boop, boop. reminds me of being um, in southern Europe last year. I went to Italy and Switzerland and yeah, it was pretty much this the whole way. That is a massive cruise ship. Holy moly. I've actually been to Degeranger here once before, last year. No, sorry, two years ago. Uh, and I took the boat uh, to the fjord and I arrived here at the port. But uh, today we are continuing up on the side here. So up we go again. Climbing the mountain sides. Turn by turn. at a quite popular viewpoint soon. Another one. <laughs> so many people already in the beginning of June. Yeah, no, we're not stopping here. Oh. Gosh. Now what the fuck do we do? Hmm? Oh, it is hot. Hot, hot, hot. shortly. There's never a day without a ferry, it seems. And there's quite a few others waiting for the ferry as well. Hopefully we can... There's room for us on there? We should have room for a bike anyway, right? I will be camping tonight, I think. I think it's right up here, actually. It's only 5 o'clock in the evening, but... Uh, I figured... I, I think I enjoy better to have... Oh, there. To have shorter days, and then I have time to work a little bit in the evening. Instead of taking a full day off every now and then, um, because I have to work, so 
And hold your horses. Tonight I will not be pitching my tent. I will be sleeping in one of these little cabins. How's that for luxury, huh? Check it out. Small cabin, about 40 euros for one night. No fancy stuff. It's just a simple bed, little table, some power outlets, refrigerator, cooking plate, and that's it. Nice little spot to sit and work. Ah, nice. Good evening guys from inside my cabin. I decided to treat myself a little bit this uh, this evening with the tunnel cabin like I mentioned um, before. I've been doing some work, some editing uh, and yeah the evening has just flown by so let me show you on the map where I went today which wasn't very far but it was very very scenic. This is where I started near Hellesult. I went a little bit south again, past Stryn, and this little knob right here is uh, Gamle Stynefjeldsveien that was closed, that we had to go back. Went all the way around here, down to Gerangerfjorden, and then crossed with the ferry right here in that fjord, and now I am uh, in, uh, in Valdal. So the plan for tomorrow is to continue past Trollstigen. I'll go into Omdalsnes and then there's a pretty famous um, gravel road that stretches for quite some distance. I think it goes like something up here and then down here again. Uh, and that's definitely on my to-do list. I don't know what the condition of the road is like at this time of year with all the snow in the mountains that's been melting and stuff. Because it's, um, it's quite altitude also on that road so um, but I think I'm gonna try to do it um, maybe I'll start tomorrow I don't know we'll see how far I get um, but yeah today has been a really really good day so much good scenery to see it's just never ending um, been pretty warm even though it's overcast so that's fine I don't mind um, not a whole lot uh, left to say, I think. Um, yeah, thank you for watching and I hope I see you again on the next episode. Bye.